Let's review a lifetime deal that's going on right now. That's called Starbox Pro. It's an author revamp plugin that works on WordPress. We're going to find out if it's worth it or not. So let's go check it out right now. Well, what's up, everyone? This is the lifetime deal Starbox Pro, and you can grab it right now in the link in the description. Now, before we jump into the dislikes and likes about Starbox Pro to know if it's worth it, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. You can grab an affordable shared hosting plan right now by jumping over to the link in the description, going to hosting, web hosting, and you're going to be able to find all their shared hosting plans that are really affordable. There's plans from $299 to $799 a month. Now, in this case, let me show you the business plan because I want to show you how to apply an extra discount coupon code in case you want to grab a hosting plan. Now, in this case, it's going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? I would recommend 48 months because you lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 48 months. Now, once you select the 48 months, you're going to view the price right here. But if you apply my coupon code, which is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop even lower. So $172 with 37 cents for 48 months. So you're good to go for four years. All right. Now, let's just jump over to the deal. So let's start off with the good and the bad about the lifetime deal. Good thing is it's a lifetime deal. Pay once, use forever. And up, up to there is fantastic. Okay. But when we go into the actual deal terms, you have to consider that $49 is only one website, all right? So in my case, I definitely think that this is too expensive for what it can do, all right? Now, I'm going to show you that in a bit once I jump over to my WordPress site where I have it installed. The good thing about it is that this one is brought to you by Squirrely SEO, which is a really powerful WordPress plugin for SEO purpose. So this might even get much better than what it can do right now. And basically they're starting off with this price. I would have really liked if this one started off at $29, $19 for what it can do right now. So I think it's expensive right now. Okay. If you need more sites, there's a double one, which I wouldn't consider for five sites. I would actually jump into the multiple for unlimited sites. I think this deal is aiming for the multiple deal with the unlimited sites for agencies, for developers, for people who want to resell this on websites that develop. And basically, they don't want you to buy this. That, that's that's my thought about this deal. They want you to jump over here. So definitely, I wouldn't recommend this if you only have a few sites and it's not as important for you to revamp the author section. Now, let's go into the actual WordPress plugin. In this case, I already have it installed on this WordPress site, and this is the author section where it's been revamped. You can see it's my name. I'm an SEO and I have my links right here. That'll take you somewhere else. I can modify the image, the text, etc. with this deal. Now, let me show you how this is actually created. In the authors, I can go ahead and add a new author from here. I can actually select an author from here. So that means that if you have more users or users on this WordPress site, they're going to be listed here and I'm going to be able to edit them. In this case, I'm not going to edit them from here. I'm going to actually edit the one that I have already. So let's go into edit author. Here we go. And I have the details right here. First name, last name, job title, job, etc. All the information here, the company, the URL, and all of these are going to be added to this section right here. Okay. I have social links available. In this case, I've just added a random text. So the link, the icons appear on the author box to give you an idea. I have options to enable no follow, no opener and no refer and load my own image. In this case, I uploaded a random image. No, this is not me. <laughs> and go ahead and save it and I'm good to go. Next thing I'm going to do is obviously select the theme that I want to use. So in this case, here's the themes that are available as of now. OK, here we go You can change the theme. And this is the next section you jump to when you fill out the details. All right. You got some filters for all highlighted visuals, standard and modern. For example, highlighted visuals, standard ones and the modern ones. If you want a really clean look, this would be the way to go. If you want something that's more fancy, highly visual. I can go ahead and preview this to see how it actually looks. And if I like it, I can go ahead and select it. The images can be changed if I like. I can change the opacity and all of that. In this case, let me go ahead and select this one just for testing purposes. I have really basic options. Um, I think they really need to make this even better because these are all the options I have. I can change the brightness, the opacity, grayscale if I want to give it that black and white look, saturation, which um, basically becomes unworkable, right? Then the position right now it's on top. I can go ahead and move it down if I like. And yes, I do have to click every single time to bring it down. I cannot grab this and drag it. 
So that's something that I wish that they, it's implemented here. I also would like to be able to change the roundness of the corners, change the font and all that here. So that's not available to change, okay? I can also choose the image for the background. So let me go ahead and select the surfer guy. Here we go, it's now surfer. And let's go ahead and reset the option there to the top, okay? So depending on what you want to use, go ahead and save it. And boom, it's now saved. Let's go ahead and refresh this. And it's now updated. So we have a nicer looking author box here. I think they should really add more options because in general settings, this is what I have. Select the author. I can display options in certain post types or display it everywhere and delete all data on the activation. That's all the settings I have. I wish they would have more settings as to where I want to position the author box on the top, on the bottom. I would also like to see CSS here where I can revamp the whole thing if I like to and just see way more options than what it offers right now. So as I mentioned before, it really doesn't want to, I really don't get the sensation to buy the single or the double code. I mean, unless I have multiple sites where I want to actually install this, I would jump into this one, which makes more sense. But in, I still think they really need to improve the settings, the look, the themes, etc. if they really want this to work out. The only thing that has it going for them is that they have a plugin that's really powerful, the, the Squirrely SEO, and it gives me the sensation that this is going to be even better. But as of now, I think it's pretty basic, so I think they should really revamp it. For now, it's a skip for me. But if you're something that you like, go ahead and test it out. There's a 60 day money back guarantee in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it, all right? And don't forget to use my coupon code if you plan to grab a hosting plan on Hostinger. And that's a wrap.